Who's a good catch up? Who's a good catch up? Now, if you was here last Sunday, do you remember the reaction as you walked up here? 
What was the reaction, Carol? Wow. Wow, exactly. That was the reaction. <gasps> wow. Now, I've been living with this for nine months. Somebody actually thought, look from this church, somebody external thought, I haven't been working my office for the last nine months. I would like to have not been working for the last nine months, but there you go. <laughs> but I've been in the office and I've watched it go from the tarry, black, gooey mess that was choking my throat. And I'm being honest, was choking my throat. I read 30 years from now I'll be suing the church for London <laughs> But I've been, well... <laughs> <laughs> no, I'd have the compensation instead, it's much more fun. No. But I've gone from the tarry mess that it was through to watching it finally clear to the where we are today. And that, when I listened to that wow factor, I thought, great, but that's in the physical. What about the wow factor in the spiritual? So Monday morning, the Strength and Balance program came in, so all the much more retired people walked in, and, said, and their reaction was, wow. And it was, Wow, this is amazing. But I said, some of them are Christians, and I went, but it has a different feel. And it's not just the cell. There's something going on in here. Wow. Wow. Tuesday, the parentola group started, didn't it? What was their reaction, darling? Yeah, yeah, toys are back. <laughs> <laughs> Pam and Jane. What was um, <laughs> Joke.
them. And we had different things happen. And a few weeks ago when I wasn't here, some people we've met actually come and visited the church. But this is the biggest thing for me. This was the wow factor for me. We've been talking to a particular gentleman for some time. It was a great conversation. Went to go and leave. Because it was four o'clock, we'd finished. Put it down and, and everything else. And then he went to be father. <laughs> I know you all find that odd, but I'm used to it now because that's what I get called a lot. Either padre, father. Padre, yeah, because that's an army thing. If I get called padre, guaranteed the person's probably ex forces. So he stood there and he said, Before you go, and I'm literally halfway out the door, he said, Before you go, can you bless me? Yeah, exactly. So in the middle of the pub, I've got my hand on his head, because I thought I'd better do it with a bit of um, how he's expecting it. Yeah. <laughs> Not in the way that I'm, you know. And I'm praying for him out loud, and I mean, you know, sort of loud. Right, because I'm not quiet. Praying for him loud, for blessings in the name of Jesus, etc., 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 Father, Son, and Holy Spirit, yeah? Loudly, in the middle of the pub, with everybody else watching. Now, that doesn't sound, but you've got to understand, that's a wow. Right, you see? That's a wow. Now, that's just one little story of a wow. I could go on forever about other things that happen, we're not going to do that. But I want to get us to the point of the wow. This is great in here, brilliant. But this is what that it's all about. As Jenny quite rightly put it, and is in that teaching, the real wow factor happens out. The real wow factor happens. Anybody feeling chilly right now? Yes. Yes. Tracy Ann. Yes. Yeah? Some are. You're feeling chilly? Yes. Guess how cold the people who don't know Jesus are. I'm not being friendly. They're, they're frozen. They need to know the warmth and the love of Jesus Christ, yes? So that's where the real wow fact happens is. So I want us to pray now, before we go into more worship. I want us to pray because God has blessed us with this building. Doesn't always feel like a blessing. Already the fuse has blown for these floodlights. The toilet, the same toilet's already leaking. Do you want me to go on? <coughs> But it is a blessing. Why? Because it has a wow factor because the Lord is here. And let's get that wow factor for those that come in here. And then let's us learn and take that wow factor. What turned Peter into being able to preach the great gospel that he preached, the 3,000 then came to know Jesus? He got the wow factor of knowing how much God loves him and took it out. We can do the same. Do I get another wow? Wow. What do you think the sermon is going to be called? Wow. Exactly. <laughs> Let's pray, shall we? Lord, Heavenly Father, we want to thank you. We do want to rededicate this new building to you and for your glory. We want to rededicate this floor for your kingdom and for your glory. But Lord, we want to pray and dedicate the people that are going to walk on this world. Those who do not know you yet, that as they walk into this building, they will get the wow factor of your love. We want to pray for all the children that come into this building, that they will know the love of Jesus. We want to pray, Lord, for the adults that walk into this building. From the parents, the carers, the elderly, the strength and balance program people. Lord, that they will know the love of Jesus. They will get the wow factor. There will be an impact as they walk in here that they can't quite escape from.
that we know how much we are loved by you so that we are free. So that we can have the wow factor. Lord, for some of us who have known you for a long, long time, Lord, pour out your spirit fresh in the living in the name of Jesus. Refreshing those areas where we're so dry, maybe where we're bitter, where we have lost our way, refresh right now in the name of Jesus. In those areas where we have forgotten who we are in you and how much you love us, refresh right now in the name of Jesus. enjoyed and benefited from this presentation to learn more about what the bible teaches us and how to apply this to our everyday lives check out our biblical teaching videos at gbcweb.tv